When I released my last video from De Pito, the Barrio Bravo here in Mexico City, people wrote in a comment section that it wasn't dangerous at all. That if I really wanted an adventure in Mexico, I had to go to one province, and that was Sinaloa, the head of the Sinaloa Cartel. Well, I'm up for a challenge. So um, I bought a disguise so that I blend in with the Mexicans and um, join me. However, no man can go into cartel country without his posse for protection. And so on my right, I have Amigo Geraldo, and on my left, I have Amigo Simone. So um, let's go pick up the hire car that Simon's or Simone has hired and um, begin the journey. Let's do it. Um, Mujer Simone um, has negotiated the price in the cab. We're going to the airport, we're going to pick up the hire car, um, which I think is some kind of like big Jeep or something um, that we're going to drive down to uh, Sinaloa. So um, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. I almost garroted myself. Viva Mexico! Oh God. Oh God, what's happening? What is this? A lad store to Sinaloa? Crikey. <laughs> this should be Magaluf, not Sinaloa. <laughs> Senor Simone, as who we've just christened uh, Mujer Simone, because he's bought a poncho like me, but he went for the female version that looks like a dress. So, um, yeah, how are you doing down there? Hey, is this a girl's right there. <laughs> hey, let me in. I want to sit beat to the trap for a second. <laughs> hey, Simon, why have you bought a female? <laughs> you bought a female's poncho. I'm not too sure. Me, it looked red when I bought it. It's pink. Now. It's not the colour. <laughs> it's a dress. <laughs> Simon's bought a woman's poncho. It's basically it's not, a dress. It's not just that. It's also the, what's it called? The... Hey, you're the one who said it looks nice. <laughs> it does. <laughs> On a woman. <laughs> Oh shit, Simon's going to Sinaloa, dressed as a, a transsexual. <laughs> Simon, you're going to by the Sinaloa cartel. Uh, oh, and we're going to film it and upload it to YouTube. Muchas gracias. Oh, we're at the airport to pick up the hire car. Gracias, señor. Gracias, señor. Adios. Mucha suerte. Well, Simon's sorting out the motor here at National, or as it's going to be called after we've hired the car, National Disgrace. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. <laughs> it genuinely looks like a dress, doesn't it? Yes. I'll put trousers no, on. No, 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 no. That's people, your look now. People on Instagram are already saying you, you look like a real Mexican. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You look good, you look good. Well, the cars look alright anyway. So definitely one of these ones along here. So um, hopefully this beast of a car. Yeah, look at it. I mean, it just looks like a car that could take you anywhere in uh, Mexico. So I think we're going to be alright with Simon at the wheel. Good. Well, never let a Welshman make decisions on cars because what he promised us was a 4x4 Jeep. What we've got is a Nissan Micra. Hey, Jesus. Lighten up, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna die. So guys, this is the start of the adventure. Okay, We're off to up. Cartel Country, to El Chapo y me Andre Andre. <laughs> and Fireball. Oh, wow. Whoa. Can't go left, it's oh, the wrong way. Wow. Listen to All this right, conversation. To this this one, is unreal. Can. Listen, this is unreal. we need a new navigator. I'm just following the map. We need a new navigator. Oh, is this a red light? Oh yeah. shit, it's a red light. I mean, if the cartels don't Listen, kill us, Simon's driving wheel. Where's the navigator? Did I not tell you go straight? Follow this road? <laughs> yeah, and now we're at the end of it. No, we're not. This road continues, right? Okay. So... Well, I don't know. I've never been Look here. Before. Are people driving there or not? So I don't the road know. Continues. Is there people driving down there? Can you see? Yes, I can. 2020 vision, mate. Check this out. The title of this film will be Lost on the Mexico City Ring Road. 
It's already been an hour. We're still searching for the turn off for where we want to go. This is a toll road, and we come up to a toll, and there's just loads of people here with signs and stuff. I don't know what's happening. Right, what are you after? Come on. I'm trying to get the money for some reason. Crikey, what was that about? Yeah, has anybody got toll? Yeah, I've got some. Oh! Gracias, adios. Oh, oh, our first pit stop in Mexico. Hey, hey. how you doing, amigo? Wow, what a place. This might just be the world's greatest taco stand. What do you think, Mr. Bold? I'm dubious if it's the best. <laughs> it might We're be the worst. We're going to eat here. Come on. Yes. My God, check out this dodgy roadside taco stand. Uh, por favor, es posible dos tacos, por favor. Sí. Gracias. I just ordered three. You have three, I'm having two. Are you two eating? Yeah. Buenos dias, señor. Buenos dias. Good luck. You're not eating? Hey, I can't do this. Like, look, what do you mean? Unbelievable. <laughs> He's not a real Mexican like me. There's like flies and cockroaches just going around it. Oh, I didn't know that, really? <laughs> ah, look at that. I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm not a coward when it comes to food. I've eaten in Chechnya, I've eaten in Dagestan, in Mauritania I ate in a man's house. But I finally found a place that might be too much for me. The roadside petrol stop, Takiria. Hello. Would you eat here or not? Oh, you're a sweetie. Hello. Hello. Would you like me to smuggle you back to Prague? Quanto cuesta? Uno taco? 15 por taco. 15? 15 pesos. Bald and bankrupt. Friends? Oh, hello. Why are you jumping up on my jacket? You're ruining my Mexican clothes. Oh, you lovely boy. Go on then. Oh, you little swine. Oh my God, he's ruined my outfit. I've only been on the road three hours and my, my outfit's ruined by that dog. <laughs> Unbelievable. I have no idea what I've got in these tacos. Simon, they're really, really good. Do you want to try one of mine? Yeah, really good. Señor, por favor. Gracias. In uh, Londres, la gente sabe que México uh, muy peligroso. Yo quiero. Uh, es verdad, no verdad. Yo pienso que no es verdad. Es ok, bueno. La gente aquí, bueno. Cartel. Tourist, no problem. Super, super. Wow. No problem for tourists. Oh, what is this I'm eating? I've got to be honest and say uh, I'm struggling with this. This is um, not my favourite meal so far in Mexico. Uh, costa, señorita? 45. Okay. Highly recommend. 45. 45. No. No. Yes. 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 Gracias, señor. Adios. Nice Hasta to meet you. Hasta luego. Hasta Thank luego. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, dog. Bye bye little friend. Well, the journey's going well, we're having fun. Lots of laughter. But I think it's nervous laughter because we realize that we are heading to Sinaloa in a Nissan Micra. So um, I think the mood will change a little bit as we get closer. Sometime tomorrow, probably. Where are the boys? Sí, pasas de aquí a Querétaro y de Querétaro, Celaya, 
de ahí a tequila y de tequila hasta tequila. Guadalajara. Sí, yo tequila. no español hablas, pero tequila. Tequila es de yo tequila. Sé. Ok, tequila. Es un pueblo donde hay puro tequila. Ok, 100%. Gracias, gracias. He said that we can find tequila in a town on the way to Sinaloa. I think we have to do that. <laughs> well, you may notice that I've been put in the front seat because Harold has been overthrown by a popular vote um, as navigator because he's taken us to the worst taco stand in all of Mexico within just the first two hours of our journey. So I am now navigator and Can decider- you stop lies about me up front? A decider of where we stop for replenishments. Are you happy with that, Simon? Yep, I'm very happy with that. He's absolutely rubbish again. I am direction. happy back here with the supplies. You guys are not getting any liquor until you apologize. Hey. Well, Simon's got us completely lost. We've turned off the highway and we're now heading down some now back we're track more in the wrong direction. into the middle of nowhere. Do you want Henry the Navigator back? Harold, no, you stay out of the navigations. I'm Navigator. Harold, you stay in the back. We are in the wrong... We're not even, even going in the direction of Guadalajara now that you guys are in charge. Simon, where are you taking us? Why have we I turned off the motorway clue. and I'm going trying. down this random back road into cartel country? I've got no internet either, so I can't even check. Well, maybe you shouldn't have kicked the Navigator off. Now, the one thing they say when you come to Mexico and hire a car is don't turn off the main highway. But old Simon oh, wow. here Look has turned this. off the main highway and got us lost. Look. So, um, where are we going? Mate, we're drawing some serious attention here. We're drawing attention? Did you see those people in at the back of wow. that pickup? Cartels in the back of a pickup. Simon, get us out of here. Why, why don't we overtake? Oh my God, am I the one who's going to have to save us? Oh, Jesus. Right, you're going to have to get all... Carry on, back. carry on, carry on, you, quick. You're going to have to get your gun and knife out. Okay. Mate, hey, we're going up into the mountains right. here. We are. Slow down, Simon, and right turn, please. I will fix this situation. Right turn, please, Simon. I've got to do everything. Right turn onto this road. <laughs> Simon's officially the worst driver. He's right. trying to get his punctures in the middle of um, cartel country. There's Why another one. Bad? Simon, what the hell are you doing? Whoa, <laughs> Whoa where are we going? Whoa. Wow, what's yeah, this place, man? Well, fortunately, thanks to my amazing navigational skills, we found the way back to the highway. So all is saved. We're no longer in that dodgy cartel country. Oh, dude, uh, Simon, what are you doing? <laughs> I've just clipped the wheel. Simon is officially... It's still on. Simon is officially... Is the wheel still on? Yeah, I think so. Si Simon is officially the worst driver in Mexico. I mean, this guy is terrifying. So where are we going now? I thought we were going to Subway. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy is unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's more terrifying than a Sinaloa cartel. Man, we've been on the road about five and a half hours and we've just seen a Subway. Oh, stretch the old leg. Simon's driving is horrendous. Amazing. Horrendously terrifying. <laughs> Simon's driving is eight star. It's it's terrifying, but you know he's been on point. No Thank accidents. Thank you, Mr. Heraldo. Well, you've done well. You've done well. Cheers, mate. Wait there. Who wants Subway when we've got amazing street food? ¿Qué tienes, señorita? Oh wow! What is this? Sweet corn and tamales. Y ese es atole, mire. Oh, I don't understand anything. Okay, uno, por favor. Sí. What is it? Sweet. <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, you've taken it out of the skin? I see. Uh -huh. Ah, wow. What is this called in um, Spanish? What? What is the name of this? The what? name? Tamal. Tamal. Okay, Tamal. Perfect. Tamal. 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 Atolito de guayaba y champurrado. Well, unlike the other boys who go to Subway, I am the true eater of Mexican street food. And I will eat this. Gracias. I will try it. Mm, let me try. Let's see what this is. Mmm, mm, it's sweet. <laughs> bueno, bueno, bueno. Wow, I have found my new favorite Mexican food. This. I don't know what it is, but it's actually very nice. Let's go and see how the uncultured heathens are up at Subway.
Hey, did you see that? That's how to order in Spanish. At Subway. Well, whilst the heathens are having a Subway in Mexico, supporting imperialism, um, I'll come outside and have a little chat. What do you think so far? I must say, I'm very impressed by Mexico. It's very modern, much more than I was expecting, and um, I feel totally safe so far. Always trying to ruin my shot. What exactly are you telling your Be in mind, that was between me and you. Between the <laughs> Why did you say that? Yeah, man, P in peace. I'm at one with nature. You should respect the land of the Incas. You're a disgrace. I am, I'm fertilizing the land. Every country he goes to, whether it's India, whether it's Peru, he's hey, always why are you urinating. That angle? <laughs> hey, the subscribers to Mahadev. Imagine I kind of presume that Mexico would be all desert and cactuses. But it's not. It's lush and fertile and green and probably snake country. I don't know. There's probably some dodgy animals in here. That you know anything about nature and the land. I am a This, this was one fact you couldn't Wikipedia before you started rambling about it. <laughs> well, I don't listen to him. My facts do not come from Wikipedia. They come from years of study and reading and knowledge and a little bit of Wikipedia before I get on the plane.